What is going on, true believers? A lot of us today are wondering, when are we going to get an altcoin season? But I think we're already there. I think we're at the start of what represents the, the phases of the altcoin season. I'm going to explain this to you, and I'm going to show you that I think that we're going to see two things happen. We're not going to see phase one of Bitcoin end. We're going to see it continue, but phase two, which is Ethereum, it's already happening. And then I'm going to show you how phase three is kind of playing into it right now. And it's happening right under our noses. And we're not seeing it because we're waiting for that big parabolic move. And we haven't seen that yet, but we're already here. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think that we are actually in this altcoin season? Have we begun the altcoin season? And then uh, let me show you the let me show you the data. And then you can break it down for yourself and you can decide. First thing up uh, we want to talk about is the path to the altcoin season. Uh, and that's phase one, Bitcoin flowing of money moves into Bitcoin, causing prices surges. That's, that's already happening right now. And the overlap here is money flows into Ethereum, but it struggles to keep up with Bitcoin. And we've seen that. Ethereum goes back and forth with Bitcoin and starts outperforming it. And we've seen that. Now, in phase two, Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin. And we hear talks of the flippening. Now, the flippening is something that we probably will see very little talk about until we get into a real big run right now. Because there's other pressing factors. And that, that pressing factor right now... Uh, is the ETFs. So until we get some clarity on the ETFs for Ethereum, flipping conversation, probably not going to be there. But the phase overlap, it's going to be money is starting to trickle into large caps where we see large cap, uh, see large buy-ups happening. Now, that's the, the phase three of it. And then we get to the alt season. Now, let's go look at a chart here. And let's take a look at Bitcoin. You see Bitcoin performing at 51,716, ranging up here in the top of this range. Now, the thing is, Ethereum is up only at this point. Ethereum has just continued to move and move and move and continuing to mint new highs. Now, we've entered this green zone. I told you guys to be aware of that green zone, that we would probably get into this range at some point. Well, we're up 2.1% uh, on Ethereum so far today, and uh, it's outperforming clearly Bitcoin. Now, has it continued to outperform? Well, I would posit if you go back and look at these things, by comparison, I would posit that if you go look at these things by comparison, then you would see that there has been right here. I'm just going to show you how Bitcoin seems to be waning. Ethereum seems to be surging. So we're starting to see this move right here where Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin. And we're just not hearing talks of the flipping. But we're seeing is money starting to triple trickle into large caps and where we see buy ups happening. Now, are we seeing that? Well, um, API has been pumping super hard. Solana continues to pump super hard. Um, when I start to move down here and I start to find some of these uh, larger caps, Avalanche, it's pumping. Cardano is pumping. Um, and, and as you come down here, you will find breakouts. Uh, Dev E pumping now. One starting to pump right now. Filecoin starting to pump right now. VeChain starting to pump right now. So we're at the beginning of what would represent itself as that altcoin season. Now, we also have an index where we keep track of it. And that index right now is telling us that are we in altcoin season? It's not altcoin season. But you can see right here that we've been running super hot and we got into this range at 84 back in late January. It didn't set anything off because we were not ready. Uh, the market was just not prepared for altcoins right now. This is still the Bitcoin market. And that's what I mean when I say Bitcoin is still going to continue. Bitcoin has a date with destiny at this point. The dynamics and the fundamentals of the crypto market, they're just different right now. Right now, we're going to see a continuing decline in the amount of Bitcoin available, which is going to increase the amount of holding in Bitcoin. Now, the thing about this is uh, these people, some of these people, they don't have access to other assets. What's going on, everybody? From now until the 26th, Cryptonomy.finance is doing a drawing and hosting a giveaway. Make sure that you participate because this could be massive. You can also follow them on Telegram. Links in the description below and on X. The description is also in the link down below. Also, make sure that you guys understand that I have done a fantastic job so far. You can see what I've done. So th this, by the way, this is not 
cash out until November 21. But so far, my accrued interest is 61,820. And let me point out here what I'm doing here. This is the launch pool. This is the big uh, launch pool that I keep telling you guys about. And here's the thing. You see tokens that I talk to you about. You see stuff like Dev E. Uh, you see stuff like DeFi. You see real tokens, Ruby protocol that are, are getting uh, vector protocol. These are things that we've discussed on this channel where these things have started to blow up and they've started to have uh, these, these, these big um, uh, moves and take advantage of it while the opportunity presents itself. And remember uh, to get in, you have until February 20th, not easily. They're not going to manage their own finances, if you will. Uh, these money markets, these managers, uh, they're going to find ways to invest into Bitcoin. You even saw this weekend, JP Morgan, who has Jamie Dimon personally said he would kill Bitcoin if he could. They're now investing and offering Bitcoin to their customers. That's what's happening right now. It doesn't matter what they see. Their customers see something different and they're servicing their customers. So Bitcoin is going to continue, but we're still seeing this big move from Ethereum, this bold move from Ethereum. Denkun upgrade is coming in about, uh, I want to say less than 20 days at this point. We've got four days left here, 17 days, roughly. Uh, Denkun update should be here. And what's that going to do? What well, fundamentally changes the layer twos on the Ethereum blockchain and lowers the pricing structure for all of those lower L2 tokens and all of the projects that are on Ethereum. So that actually uh, doesn't dynamically change what's going on with the L1, doesn't change Ethereum uh, in, the, in the L1 if you're trading on it fundamentally, but it does change the way the transactions go for these roll-ups and for these L2s. So uh, we're going to see some, some real differences in the Ethereum ecosystem, and that's incredibly bullish because everything that's important right now is really built on Ethereum. Uh, other than Solana, I want to say, maybe maybe the Cosmos ecosystem, but when we look at the volume, not even close. So Ethereum having the breakout, Solana having the little catch up, but then the question becomes, what is it going to take as a catalyst to move us to that next level? And for that, I go back to Bitcoin. Now, I thought that this was going to start at 50,000. Right. Uh, that I told you guys that when we hit 50,000, we're going to have the start of an altcoin season. Well, 50,000, it was right here. It was in Fe February 14, about Valentine's Day. Uh, since then, this is the market cap. And you can see here, uh, since the 14th of the month, we've still continued to moon. But look at this. This is the total market cap that, that excludes Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's happening before our eyes. We're just not feeling it yet because we haven't had that parabolic sort of move. But I just randomly threw a 50 to $100 into random tokens. And I did that strategically uh, to try to take advantage of uh, the rebuilding process. And I want you to look at the portfolio right now. Uh, and API is up 4%. Solana is up 8%. Injective still down about 5%. But Render is up 80%. Uh, Caspa is up 70%. Volt is up. T almost 30 percent avalanche almost 25 arbitrum almost 15 percent doge six percent bone shiba swap still down six percent and hex is down 16 percent right now <clears throat> by the way that's a full dgen play obviously um I, and i only put 19 dollars in it i should clarify that uh that was not something that i was putting big money in uh and remember i got robbed so i'm rebuilding this kind of you know, this is a slow sort of rebuild. But as you can see right here with API, you know, I uh, very bullish on this project. And I think that it's going to have just a fantastic run. Uh, Solana, same thing, but we're up on almost everything. And all, all we're doing is just hodling. Uh, when I uh, when I went last night and looked at, uh, I, I had set an API three future uh, for a small amount and it broke out and I'm up 700%. So um, is are we in the altcoin season? I would I would posit that yes, we are. We've started it, and now is the time for everybody to just have some patience. This is going to be a long altcoin season. It won't be, I don't think, in my estimation, as parabolic as what you've seen before. But the fact that Bitcoin is continuing to run and Bitcoin is continuing to perform and outperform means to me that this will continue. 
And that would mean that we are looking at a very positive moment in cryptocurrency. And I think we're going to continue to move towards that upside to get that altcoin season. But what does it look like uh, when we get to the large caps? We're already seeing that happen, right? Now it's finding those phase four alt season. What's when the large caps have gone full vertical and we're seeing blow off tops. We haven't seen that yet, but the mid caps and the low caps are going to tend to pump around the same time. So what we're looking for is we're looking for this to move into this range. And then we're looking for Bitcoin will continue doing what it's doing. We're looking for Ethereum to blow off top, right? Where's the blow off top? Probably 3,500 for this range right now, but it could be as high as 42. We might be looking at something just fantastic getting ready to happen. Might be looking at it. Okay. Uh, then you look at the strengthening of the ETH pairing right now. We haven't broken out of our descending channel that we formed over a year, almost two years now. So we haven't broken out. So when we get a confirmed breakout of this, then you can bet your bottom dollar that altcoin season is starting. And we've already got a wick right above. Now, if this continues on, Ethereum, I mean, if Ethereum continues on from where it is right now, then this is the breakout that we're looking for. And this is going to start the run for the altcoin season. So we're almost there. It's getting to the point. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, do you think that we're in altcoin season? Do you think that this is happening right now? Uh, I really feel like we've made it, if you will. And again, I think the dynamic of the altcoin season is just a little bit different. So, but at some point, very, very soon, we're going to see some real moves from Bitcoin into these alts because the Bitcoin enthusiasts, the guys like us that that do this every day, we're going to be quote unquote fat on the calf and we're going to be looking for those big explosive sort of options. And when that happens, then it's going to be up only for a short period of time. And all of these alts that we've been holding on so preciously and so dearly, they're going to go absolutely bonkers. So um, I don't know that to be the case, but it sure looks like it right now uh, that we're in the middle of it. And look, it's not going to be anything to say Bitcoin, 150,000 by the end of this year, Ethereum, 10 to 15,000 by the end of this year, Solana, 300 by the end of this year, uh, my uh, pet project here, API3, uh, $100 by the end of the year. You know, there's a lot of different opportunities and a lot of different things that are going to start breaking out very, very soon. So um, I think we're there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll talk to you again.